Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as uh, the Mumblux with the new Cradle of Civilization DLC. And we're getting ready to do some conquest and conquering some people. Let's get some claims. Hmm. Okay, that's disappointing. I suppose I could just attack them outright. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, unfortunately, I have to take a military idea. I can't wait to get this. Because we'll waste more power than we'll save that way. So, let's take the old and infirm, which means cheaper troops. And we'll take more once we get uh, the modifier. Alright, um, yeah, I think it's time to attack. No, no, not that. I was supposed to do army maintenance increase, not that. Stop drilling. Stop drilling. Move closer to the enemy and move closer to the enemy. Alright. Um, I need a claim or several. Oh, they like me. Actually, they're quite close to accepting vassalization. No, that would never happen. Uh, let's get a claim at whatever and stop building a spy network. And I do have a diplomat I could use. I suppose I'll improve relations with Austria just to make sure that we can maintain the alliance. Okay. We're pretty much ready. We'll just wait for our morale to go up. Age objectives fulfilled, first rank. Oh, I'm first rank, really? Well, that's surprising. Thank you very much. The age will end soon. Well, the next one is cool, but the transfer subject thing is so good. Unfortunately, we didn't have much more use out of it. Hopefully, one of our subjects will, you know, get some claims on Circassia or something. Then they can be our next target. Yeah, you do that. Alright, back to work. Mm, we're at full morale, so it's time to attack. No, not enforce peace. Declare war. Melindi. Oh, Yemen will not join. Really? But I wanted to fight Yemen. I suppose I can just fight Yemen later, but what if I were to attack Yemen? Adal would not join me. Join them because Adal likes me. They both like me. I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, whatever. I'll just focus on Adal. But, then, but that means I need to get these troops there first. Otherwise, it will be a waste of resources. If you know if Yemen will not join. Right. Anything else? No, not really. Truce with Tunis will expire soon. Oh. More reforms are happening. This is... Powerful. Right, um, so... They did not annex you. I will have to annex you myself, eventually. Right, let's continue. It'll take a while for our guys to be ready to attack them. Adal will beat these guys, but it doesn't really matter. I'll have them both eventually. How are we on... For Summit? can use a cultural interaction, and I will use a cultural interaction. Perfect. With that being said, I should invest in ideas. Tolerance of Heathens. Wonderful. Demi monthly loyalty. Monthly loyalty. Oh, plus 10% of what they were getting. All right. Available mercenaries. And garrison size, it doesn't really matter, the garrison size. But the force limit does. And the land attrition does as well. Okay, cool. And extra discipline. For free. Well, not for free, but, you know. 
And I should also invest in Diplo Ideas. Uh, Diplo Tech. Diplo Tech, not Ideas. All right. Oh, and they have Ethiopian Separatists. Okay, Adal. Melindy and Hadramut. Hadramut is here. And Melindy is down here. Theoretically, I could vassalize them or something, but... Alright. Let's just attack Adal. And not call them in as co-belligerent. Move us away from legalism. That is unfortunate. But I'm not going to pass up a conquest. Just because of legalism. So, here we go. Beautiful. Uh, we'll have to deal with those rebels too. Let's wait for these to finish. And I can send a general against them. Right, you need to take a general with you. And the other one. Well, you go and take the forts. You'll need to kill the rebels and the army. Oh, we attacked in the mountains. That was... Actually, it didn't matter that much. Because of how powerful we are in comparison. Where are you going to? Nowhere. Well, that's okay. Oh, Malind is coming, and whoever that is. Well, that other guy. Let's kill him. Or not, you know. I lost a treasurer. Can I get my ulema to have more influence somehow? Not without giving them land. Because I want the theologian. I want that super cheap theologian. Yeah, well, I'll take this guy. Right, I'd like to chase down this army here. This is mountains. I'll be attacking the mountains, which is normally a mistake, but I have three times as many troops as they do, so we'll be okay. Chase them down to Gambla or something. Go to Kaffa. Okay, that'll work out nicely. Infiltration of Mushasha. Eh, whatever. Mushasha is not a threat to me. Accumulated money, as the mission told us to. Wonderful. Okay, you do that siege thing, and then I don't go over here. Factionalism. More legitimacy and more expensive stability. Or, more manpower and less legitimacy. Actually, our legitimacy is growing very steadily, so I can do that. For free manpower. I mean, we're fine on manpower, but still. Extra won't hurt. All right. Let's send you here, send you here. And you guys just detach sieges, maybe. So we suffer, don't suffer too much attrition. Well, they'll reinforce shortly. Will they? Yes. Yes, they will. Okay, this is an easy war. We don't really have to get too overextended by it. Did you get me a claim on Circassia? No. Bad vassals. Ooh, Venice is being targeted. Actually, I could I could attack Venice. Only I would Savoykov and Nexos. France is not fighting anyone. Castile is. Still fighting the same guys. Mm, seems like they're winning. Okay, should I do go to Hadramut? I cannot. 
I would need access. And that's okay. Don't need to take them. All I need to take is this area. As for them, I can just sign a white piece or whatever. Hadramut occupied Tabuk. Oh. I will assume that my vassals might take care of that for me. While we just focus on these guys. Decline of the merchant class. Before we accept this, can I ask the merchants for political power or something? For monarch points. No, but I can ask them for money. Or recruit a minister. Skill 3, Master of Mint. 50% cheaper. They would gain influence, but then they would lose influence. You know what? Let's do this. Ask them for super large contributions and decrease their influence with an event. These should all expire around the same time. Yeah, granted monopolies will expire, then we'll have that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, how about the emirs? I could call a diet and recruit a minister. That would be a diplomat. Yes, a level three that costs half. More diplo power. Less diplo rep, but more diplo power. Okay, I suppose. But that would increase their influence as well. That would give them 15 influence, which would give it total of 68. 68 is a bit much. I don't necessarily need that guy. Do I? Let's get that Master of Mint, shall we? He's a level 3 that costs as much as a level 2. As for you, we're still making enough... I am still making enough money to also get a diplomat like that. And I probably should. I probably should. But then, if I reduce their, inf their loyalty by demanding military support... Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Recruit Minister. Demand military support. They will be disloyal for a while. We'll be okay. If I called it diet, that would give them too much influence, wouldn't it? Well, 78 is not a pr oh, Crap, I made a mistake. I should have done this first and then demand su demanded support. Probably. No, let's not call it a diet. Okay. Let's use the diplomat. As for a military guy, I don't really have a good military guy. All right, that will have to do. Oh, now we're losing money, but not a lot. Oh yeah, Hadramut is occupying stuff. I should go and deal with their army. The worldly ulema. They gain loyalty, we gain corruption. Uh, no. I'm going to lose corruption. First the base currency, then lose corruption. Perfect, free money. No, we should deal with these guys first. Alright, another siege is over. I shall send you some people to help you out with that. Okay, with what we've done, these guys we will take a bit of a dal. No, uh, that's not a dal. That's uh, yeah, that's a dal. That's Aden. That's a dal. Okay, they'll take a bit of their territory, and then we can take the rest, perhaps, and then we can attack those guys, um, which means I should just start building a spy network. All right, you take this. You beat up the army. Oh no, we were, you're going to the desert. I'll try to catch them. I can't catch them. An Ottoman agent we have discovered. I don't think the Ottomans can hurt me. Not with Muscovy as an ally. 
All right, what else? I mean, I'll just move north because they're causing trouble here. Austria, recall. Okay. How did I want? Do you want a peace deal? I just really want anything from you. Nope. Then no. Who's disloyal now? Crimea. Well, I expected as much. Oh, we have a royal marriage. Oh, right. Their, uh, their disloyalty is connected to them being a horde. I should be annexing them. Not Karaman. That's fine. We'll next both. Alright. Take on Alexandria. Right, let's land attrition minus 10%. That's going to be very helpful. And so is the force limit. So we finished uh, the AD groups. Next one should be the diplomatic one. Probably trade would benefit us most, actually the most. All right, you there, you there, and the rest of you follow uh, the enemy. All right. Oh, rebels. Let's kill them. We can't let them take our territory. Even the territory that's only temporarily ours. Okay, we've retaken Alexandria. And that other province. Let's go kill their troops in Gaza. A talented judge. Syria gets a talented Qadi. Or we gain a philosopher. Actually, that would be good, but don't I have an advisor of this sort? I do. So, um, sorry. A philosopher is what? Admin? I think so. Not sure. So, I, I, I do have those. Okay. Some reinforcements have come, and we have finished a siege. All right, I should deal with these guys. Because otherwise I won't get a good peace deal, or a quick peace deal. That's the problem with fighting in such terrain. Stones of enemy armies running around. Let's kill them. That was rather easy. Although I would have preferred a wipe, of course. Can I go into their territory? All right, we have taken all these. Split you up a bit. I'll have to keep these guys here. Although, can I go down? I can go down there. Then I shall. I shall go down to Tenga and Mombasa. I'm not even going to take any generals with me. Although perhaps I should. Oh, I don't have enough generals. Let's get a new one. He's pretty good. Alright, they're on their way. You there. You there. You there. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to core stuff in Melindi. Is this good territory? Relatively. Trade protection against Genoa. If I were to attack Genoa, I'd probably have to fight a ton of people. Let me have a quick look. Mantua, the Papal State, and the Papal State, and France. France really doesn't like me. Who's Poland fighting? Muscovy. And the Ottomans. No, not Muscovy. Yes, Muscovy. Yeah, Poland's done. Sorry. But if I were to fight the Ottomans... Nope, still nothing. 
let's just focus on expanding south. For now. Also, let's get a claim on these guys. What's your best province? Probably your capital. You don't really have good provinces. This one is. Now I can attack them. Recall the guy and improve relations with our few yet useful and powerful allies. Okay, any interesting missions? Conquer Bur... Buryata? Buraita? Bura... Buraidash. That's a Mushasha mission. They might be my... Vassal Timurids, interesting. They might be my next target. They might be my next target. I need to deal with Adal first. Ethiopia, the Adal Mamluks. Right. Golden Era of Denmark. I, I could start a Golden Era. I don't think... Should I? Perhaps, but it increases maximum absolutism. And absolutism is not a thing yet. So it feels like a waste. There and there and there. And there. And go here. Battle of Melindy. That was easy. Obviously. Right. Actually, I can probably annex their territory. I'll be able to court through, you know, naval stuff. Yeah, I should do that. Gold Rush. Cool. I have a Master of Mint, so inflation is going down. I'd probably be better off just reducing it with admin power. Mm, okay, let's just continue our work. Oh, I need to send more troops up here. Actually, I need to s to retreat some troops from here. Because attrition. That will do. All right, you can go and help here. Oh, they have gone around us and are now back there. I suppose I'll go back there too and deal with them. That's a little bit annoying. I suppose I could have forts everywhere that would stop such behavior, but it also costs so much money. Also, I am out of manpower. Okay, this is tempting, but I need admin for coring. Soon I will need admin for coring. Can I take your land and core it? I cannot. Will you give me war reparations and all your cash? You will. Then, let's end this war. All right, Melindy is no longer my enemy. Okay, now. Uh, this will take a while. And where's that big army that I sent this way? Ah, it's not a really big army. Still, let's, let's use it properly. Send it over here. You take this, you chase the enemy. We're going to Sinai. That's where I'm going to Suez. Oh, now we're going to Gaza. Well, I'll be chasing them down. I could sign a peace deal right now, probably. But I feel like we'll be better off not doing that yet. So, oh, let's kill those guys. Mamluks occupied Tabuk. That's fine. Where are we going now? Jaffa. I'll go to Jaffa as well. And to Gaza. And over here. <laughs> this is annoying. Hmm. Yeah, right, that was easy. 
you should help. And you should be faster. How quick are those guys? Right, I could try to sign a peace deal, but probably I won't be able to get as much as I would like to. No, no, I would be able to take as much as I want to. However, I prefer to sign a separate peace with these guys first and the next them. Siege of Devasia is over. Muscovy, relations improved. Good. Who's next? Poland's gonna be killed. France hates me, Castile likes me, and Austria likes me. I suppose I could improve relations with my subjects. Fizan for once. Or Devasia, they don't like me. Get a royal marriage with Devasia. Right. So. Running around, aren't they? Finally we'll catch them. Okay. I'll pr I'll pr these guys will probably annex a doll, and then we'll be able to attack them too. But first I'd like to, you know, sign a separate piece up here. Also, the rival of our rival, Venice. Interesting. I don't really care for Venice, but that's free dipple power. So I'm going to take the mission. Improve relations. Unfortunately, the Ottomans are probably going to eat parts of Poland and become stronger that way. Siege off. Oh, cool. Peace deal. All your money and all your land. That's core. Oh, right, I can't core both of them. Do I need to increase autonomy? No, I don't. No, I don't. Get out of here. We don't want you get, to get trapped. And I suppose it's probably time to sign a piece with Ada after all. So give me all your money. All your land, all your money. I could keep these forts, but then they can just go through the desert. So, destroy castle. And destroy castle. Perhaps increase autonomy? No, not necessary. Here we go. And then we should probably attack these guys. Mm, let's get everyone. Oh, rebels. Right, rebels. Go. That's all of you down here. Get all of you down here and attack Junjiro. Yay! But we will act on this attack in the next episode because it's time to end now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.